Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to add fisheye to our projects in Final Cut Pro. In this video, I want to learn how to remove the fisheye or the wide angle. So what you can do is, yeah, you can go ahead and play with the X and Y axis over here, but work smart, not hard. What I've found and used since 2012 almost is a plugin. And keep in mind, this is why I like Final Cut Pro 10 over iMovie. Definitely similar, a uh, lot of the same user interface, but you can't use this on iMovie. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and Google Alex 40 wide angle. There's a free plugin that works spectacularly if that's even a word. So what I'm going to do, search that. Let's go ahead and click on this Alex wide angle and it's going to have an example. Yeah, exactly like that before and after. So let's go ahead and scroll down. God, that looks good. So yeah, we're really trying to get away from those bending lines, especially when there's a lot of vertical objects, a lot of vertical bar looking things. That's where it's going to be. The bend is going to be the most exaggerated and let's get it back to looking like we shot it without fisheye. So what I'm going to do is scroll down. There should be a click to download right here. Let's click on that. Let's give it a second. There's a random cat running through my backyard. Let's show that in finder. It's got it right here. Let's go ahead and install this bad boy. Give it a second. And there it is, Alex 40 wide angle fix. Uh, yes, don't ever warn me. I, I've had this plugin for some time. Let's see it show up. Where did it go? Right here. And let's click install, just like that. The plugin was successfully installed. Now you might need to reset uh, Final Cut Pro. You might not. Let's go ahead and see it just get rid of this junk. It showed up. Let's go back to video and audio effects. And there it is. Alex 40. Perfect. So I've got some GoPro footage right here. You might have just uh, wide angle footage from a certain camera. What I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and put this in right here. I'm going to put another one in right here so we can really compare and contrast. A couple of videos ago, we learned how to add effects and we're going to do it the same exact way. So I've got two, let's check it out right now. I've got two Final Cut Pro videos just like that. And my final, I'm sorry, two GoPro, two GoPro Hero 4 videos. Uh, and they are both set to wide angle. It's the exact same videos, just back to back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Alex 40 wide angle removal plugin and I'm going to put it over the second one just like that. Let's go ahead and compare and contrast the first from the second. Here's the clip. The GoPro clip with fisheye on. And in three, two, one, here's the same exact. There it is. Check that out. Looks perfect. All right, guys. So that's how I remove fisheye in Final Cut Pro. Go ahead and download that plugin. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. It was going to be a video game commentary channel. Get out of here. All right, guys. Good luck so far.